What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're gonna learn how to summarize papers using the ChatGPT API. So on my left, I have my Jupyter notebook. On my right, I have the paper that we're gonna be summarizing. This paper is called Quantifying Attention Flow in Transformers. The process to do that is relatively simple. We're gonna start by importing our dependencies. We're gonna use OS to handle the file stuff, IPDF to parse the text in the PDF, and rejects in case we need some text matching, and OpenAI to handle the calls for the ChatGPT API. So I'm gonna run this. And now in order to summarize a paper, all we're gonna do is, first we're gonna set a string that will contain the summary. So that's what I'm doing here. And then we're gonna open the PDF file by first we set the path to the PDF. In this case, it's on my, it's in a folder called PDFs and it's called paper.pdf because I'm very original. And now we're going to read the PDF using the PyPDF2 package. So I'm open the PDF, I'm reading the PDFs, and I'm going to loop through all the pages in the PDF file. And so for each page in the PDF, we're going to be extracting the text from the page. So here I am accessing the pages of the PDFs that I read with the PDF reader from PyPDF2. I am accessing the index for each of the pages i'm extracting the text and i'm making it all lowercase after that we're gonna get we're gonna make our alls to the ChatGPT api so here i'm making the call to the ChatGPT api i'm creating a message in this case i'm using the gpt 3.5 turbo which is the default model uh the message is going to define first a role for the system and this is telling ChatGPT what is the behavioral profile that I wanted to incorporate. In this case, I wanted to act like a helpful research assistant because we're talking about summarizing scientific papers. And then we're going to send the message. In this case, this message is very simple. I just say, summarize this. And I give each page of that PDF. So this is a very specific type of summarization where I'm just summarizing all the pages and then I'm concatenating that together. And then after we've said that, we're going to get that summary, summary from that page. And we're going to add that to the empty string that we set in the beginning. So here I'm just adding the summary of that page into that empty string, which will now have a summary for all the pages of the PDF. Now, essentially, uh, an evolution of this approach would be to divide, to make the summaries by section, by header, but I found that, you know, in practice, this works pretty well. So now I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to write the summary to file. So in here, I'm just replacing the name of the PDF with summary.txt so that I know where the paper is and where the summary is. And finally, I'm saving that to file and we're closing the PDF file, which we opened here. So now if I, so it's PDF file not close. So now I can run this. And here I'm going to be opening that file and reading it to the prompt, I'm reading it to my Jupyter notebook so that you guys can see the summary. There we go. There we have it, a summary of this paper, which upon reading, I found this to be a very competent summary of that paper. So it discusses attention weights, the trauma to explain model decisions, specific reliable sort nature of attention weights as explanations. Yup, that makes total sense with the paper. So pretty happy with this summary. And that's how you summarize a paper using the ChatGPT API. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Cheers.